Hello everyone, Frank here. I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I want to answer a subscriber question that I had about uh, sharing out content while you're running a Teams meeting on a Mac computer. So for example, a PowerPoint or a PDF document, a Word document, whatever you want to share out while you're running a meeting in Teams. Now, it is important that I have another video on this channel where I talk about sharing out things like system audio on a Mac where we have to actually go in and install another piece of software. So this isn't uh, applicable to say sharing out a YouTube video or sharing out a QuickTime movie. This is really for PowerPoint presentations, Sway presentations, websites, those types of things. So let's go have a look at how to do that on a Mac. There's a little bit of a trick in here. Here I am in a meeting. So I've got a meeting that I've started called uh, Tents for the Trip. We're going to do an outdoor adventure. And you'll notice that Clark Kent is currently in the meeting. So if I go to my participants window, it's me and Clark. We're going to talk about tents. And we have a number of icons across the top. So you can see I can show the conversation. That was if I want to go into the chat window here, uh, raise my hand, uh, breakout rooms, a lot of other actions. I have some other videos on this channel where I talk about those. What I want to show you here is the sharing. So when I go to share content, you'll notice that the content I can share would be my desktop, which is, you know, I can share my desktop, which includes the window that I currently have open. I can share the window. This is this particular application. Uh, underneath PowerPoint, notice there's no files available. I can browse and upload from my computer this presentation file. So I'll open that up and it will go in and load it. I'll replace the copy that was there because I'd done this a bit previously. And you can see that this now will bring the PowerPoint that I want to share onto my screen and my participants screen. So this is what my participants are seeing in this meeting as well. And I can go through and I can talk about all the different things I want to talk about on this PowerPoint. So let's stop sharing the PowerPoint. I'll stop presenting. So we stop presenting. And, uh, and that was pretty interesting, but now go back into share and notice that I can also have my whiteboard and my freehand in here. But what if I want to share a PDF? Where, where do I go? How can I do that? I happen to have a PDF here. So if I go into my little demo folder here, I'll just open up this PDF and you can see I've got this cool PDF. And if I go into my Teams meeting, so I'll just go right behind here. If I go into my Teams meeting, I want to share this PDF, but it's not on here, right? Where, where'd my PDF go? Well, I close the share window. I'm going to reopen the share window and there it is. Now I'm sharing this PDF. Notice that my meeting experience minimizes and notice that there's a red border around the actual document that I'm sharing here. In this case, this PDF. And so I could have a conversation about this PDF and everybody in my meeting is seeing whatever's enclosed in this red. And then when I'm ready to stop sharing, I can maximize my meeting experience and I can stop sharing that PDF. And now we're back just to the regular meeting. Now, I'm going to show you a trick here. If I go in and I minimize that PDF, I still have it open. It's down here. It's this manual. And if I go into share, it's not going to be there. It's not there. Notice I, I have my, my file uh, manager is here, but I don't have my PDF. And that's because my PDF is minimized. If I bring that back up and I go back to my meeting experience, it's a bit of a trick here. It's still not there. If I leave share, go back into share, now you'll notice my PDF is available for me to share, red border around it, and that's what all of my participants are going to see as well. And if I move this around, and if I move on here, my participants will be able to see my mouse movements and everything. But the trick here, and it is a weird little thing, is that when, when you're in the Mac environment, I'll stop sharing it, takes the red border off. When you're in the Mac environment, if you're document or if the item you want to share is not open on your screen, you can't share it. I could even make it really small. I could, I can, you know, make it into a small window here and then I can still share it. I'll still see it. I'll see this little window. And now this little red box is what people are going to see. And if I expand this box and make it a little bit bigger so I can see these other objects, people will see what's ever enclosed within this red box. So that's what they're seeing on their screen. And then again, of course, I can go into my meeting, maximize it, grab that meeting experience, and I can stop sharing. So that's the trick with sharing on a Mac. 
Okay, I hope that was useful for you and that that answered the question for my subscriber and anybody else who was wondering how to do that. You can see it's a little bit tricky to do that, but I think it's, um, it's pretty good once you get used to it. So thank you so much for watching. Here's a couple of other videos that might be useful for you and we'll see you in the next video.